Yo, 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 YouTubers, I just did a live video on um, the house that I'm working at. And also to share, to, to share that I'm installing the windows. But what I've done is um, I started a timer. Like I already had one window installed, which is this window here. It took me like fucking 40 minutes finger fucking around and shit. This is the wrong window I grabbed that's included in my timer. But this is the window I installed. It took roughly half an hour to install this window. I caulked the trim in the outside. I caulked the, the, the bead, the, the trim of wood that's facing in. I caulked all around that. And then also I caulked the exterior. Um, so removal and replacement of window was a total of 30 minutes and a couple of seconds. This is the first one that I did. You know, it's, it, it's just basically me learning how to install this window. And this is the finished product, which took half an hour. I'm pretty sure that if I really hustled, I could probably do a window in 20 minutes. You know, so installing windows, especially these windows, are super easy, super simple. I don't know the name of these windows. I'm going to try and find the name of them, the make, model, I mean the make, the maker of this window and what exactly it's called. I fucking don't know, honestly. So, you know, I'm just sharing with you guys um, what I'm doing. But now my next window is going to be this one. I got a little obstacle. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart the timer and, um, you know, make sure like, before you know, clean this area up so I can have a clean workspace area. And I'm going to restart the timer, set it at zero, and I'm going to try to break my um, my record, if you want to say that, you know. Um, so stay tuned. Hopefully this is a piece of cake. You know, I got the exterior window out, out there to deal with too. The, whatever you call that, the trim, the shutter's got to come off. And I said, but I'm not focusing on that. I'm only focusing on this window. And this window right here um, and then I'm going upstairs because they told me not to change the front yet I really know why but I just don't want to be an asshole and blow them up and blow them up I think that they um, actually fuck it I'm gonna say I think that they needed to pull permits to uh, re replace these windows but I don't know they told me to do it I'm gonna do it fuck it it is what it is so half an hour <laughs> I'm crazy. Yeah, last step is to check, make sure your window goes up and down. That's all you gotta do. It goes up, all the way, goes down, locks properly. That's it. So, so roughly it took me an hour and 10 minutes to install two windows. You know, so that's that. Looks cool too. You know, I don't know why it's not going all the way down, but fuck it, not my problem. My job was to install it. I did, they didn't even tell me to caulk the interior, but that's what I'm doing because I kind of want to create some kind of weather seal, like water. I don't want, to, want water coming up under here and none of that stuff. So um, that's that. Yeah, man, 20 minutes. I, I, I can go a step further like I did over here. I mean, 30 minutes. <laughs> I actually caulked the inside of this. Um, I put caulking all around. I actually did that over there too, but I started doing that over here and it just looks real shitty. So I'm not gonna do it, um, you know, because I was gonna give it that extra, extra um, air tightness, but fuck that, it's done. So anyway, stay tuned. I'm gonna see how long it takes me to install this window. And if anything, if I can actually clear up some space on my phone, and record me doing it that would even be better so let me clip all the space and then try to find a way to to set this phone somewhere so where you can catch me in action let me get all my shit together transfer all my tools or whatever i'm using transfer everything from over there to over here or from over here to over there so let me clean up this space right here and then um let's see but stay tuned i won't be pretty quick about it all right guys so I moved all the paint out of my way. You know, I gave myself a clean, proper work area. So, I got my tool belt back on. 
Now, I got my ladder, I got my window measured, which one I'm gonna use. I, I take back some of the stuff that's gonna be in my way. So first things first, first is just be quick. I don't want to break this strip, that's why I'm trying to not jam on it real hard. Jam on it, jam on it, jam on it. Keep in mind, there's a bunch of spider webs in there, but and it's a real thick spider web. So I'm pretty sure there's a huge ass motherfucking spider up there somewhere over there. I'm trying to do this in 20 minutes because the last time I did it was 30 minutes. So I could use a drill for this trip, but I'm not because I'm just not, you know. Let's so take this out, put it to the side because I'm going to use this again. You know, the, the easy strip that I cannot break and shall not break. All right, so now I'm going to open this right here. One window out of the way. Nice big spider webs moving all this shit out of my way. Use that hammer you commonly don't use, but you're using my framing hammer to get this crud out of the way. Oh, the shit. Nasty fucking shit. There's some eye hooks over here that I gotta get out, which um, I need pliers for. That's not bothering me. All right, so let's keep on cleaning.
get my window in smoothly. I don't think I'm going to do the If anybody comments on how not to install a window, gonna get punched in the face. I'll FedEx the fix. So now I got a paint this scrapers, uh, paint this tool. It's very, very good to have, very handy, very useful. This has to come off sometimes. I don't like taking it out. You just wiggle it a little bit, open it, and it gives you a chance to get your little flat bar thingy there. All you got to do is wiggle it back and forth without breaking the wood. Be gentle, you know, find where this wood is, open it up, you know, this should come right out. And very gently, take it out. Now, the nails all stood there instead of coming here, coming out, which I would much prefer to coming out with the wicker that can back it out and then push it back in. But that's not a big deal. What you're gonna do is get these nails out. Very dusty. You don't wanna scratch these floors so you can't throw it off. Your debris there on the floor because it's metal that is going to scratch the floors. We're here to make a house better, not worse. So, a pair of side cutters, aka dikes, are very good to have. Dust. I've been moving ages. Now, what I'm going to do is swap out the battery from this drill this to make this transition faster. I want to create some kind of pulley thing with my son. You cut the sash cord out because you're not using it again. You're not using it, so why the fuck leave it there, you know? Coming back to see. Removing the hardware that the sash thing sometimes get a little difficult to move. Put you back it out, you can get a little. By the way, I strongly urge get yourself a smaller drill set like an M12. Doesn't matter, it could be Milwaukee or Makita or Ryobi, whatever. This is the one that's always a pain in the ass. But what I like to do is 
loosen it and pull out the other one. It has a nail on it. And now, you got a window ready to come out. And then what you do is you prep it, you clean it, you wipe it down, you clock it, and you go get your window. Down on the floor because you're not going to be grabbing this again. Then you pop out the window, move it safely somewhere because you don't want glass everywhere. Because that's how it should work. You know, it's better to be neat and clean. Now get the same brush. Bow. Just get ready to sweep. I found this at the 99 cent store. They use it to, it has a bunch of things. I guess it's for food prep, but I like it because. <laughs> you can flip the shit out of all that crap. Now you get your caulk gun, which I think I left outside. Every dickhead. No, I did not. I misplaced it. Where's the fucking caulking gun? Sometimes when you play shit, you don't know where it is. I got the tube here with the caulking gun on. So I misplaced my caulking gun. That throws a monkey wrench through the whole system, doesn't it? Okay. Where'd I be, motherfucker? Caught the shit out of that. I actually have to pause this video because I can't find my caulking gun. Because I don't remember where I put it. I'm pretty sure it's in the van. So I'll be right back. I'm back. All right. I lost the caulking gun. Um, I have a brand new gray one, but this is my backup. So like I said, create a cool, good, tight transition. Try to get in the center of the bead. Oh, I missed one. Take the pressure off every time because if not, you get spillage like that. Now I'm gonna get the window. You can hear the tape going. Not the tape, but that's me clean the cut run. Don't waste rags on coffee, get paper. You know. Rags are expensive. Alright, I'm taking the wrapping off the windows. Or the window. Never use a knife because you cut the screen and all that other shit. You know, had it something for it.
so now I got my window. So I'm gonna put it right here. Hopefully the cart doesn't move. Take this off because it's very important to take off. It's this has two key components. I feel like they booby trap the shit out of you because of this. Now this right here looks like an L. This goes like this on the bottom of that because there's a slope to the window. So this L kind of creates a barrier. I like to just put it here before I install the window. Like so. And then as I'm installing the window, I'll adjust it. And with the caulking gun again, right here. Caulk the top. They say put a bead like across the cross. I like to go like so because it gives it a better chance to, to seal and then take the push off. You see? You don't. It keeps coming out. So that's that. Put this back on the window. Now, what you're gonna do is create some space because you're gonna be finagling and fucking around there for a second or two. Put the window to where you need it. Um, lift the window, put it in place, and then basically pop all this extra stuff off, which I'll do now. It's better to do it around the window up on top. As easy as that. Be careful where you put your hands because usually you get a cookie, dookie, shitty. Boom, come on. Get the drill ready. I have more batteries that just fucking lazy. Alright, like so. Pick the window up. You know fit, now it fits. Give me it. What you're gonna do now is you're gonna open the window and the screen in order to move that that uh, piece that I showed you guys. So you can move it accordingly in order so it can fit the window exact. See, perfect fit. What you do is get the ladder closer. Bring this window back down because now you got this strip. You move it up so you can heat and bond. Push the window in nice and tight so if you make contact with that caulking you just did. You know, don't go too far from the window because if you do, it probably could and will fall. Then you just work for free for that day. Trust me, working for free sucks. Here, you're gonna keep shoving that shit up. Make sure you got a good bond up there with your way to do. That's the tight lip. Lip. Take this piece off, nice and gently. It kind of wants to help you get up. But I know how fucking you call it. Rip it all out and break the shit. And that's it.
don't pull uh, screw the screws in all the way either because what's gonna happen is what's gonna happen is if you screw it all the way in you're gonna crack the frame on that window and now you got a defective window now since I can't caulk this from the outside the bottom part where I really need to caulk it I gotta do it from the window push the window all the way up again create some kind of water type barrier. Take all the excess that that, that can be bring your finger back through it and that's it. Now I'm gonna get another tube ready of coffee because that one's running low. So instead of fucking it all up, well, I still had some, but got a bunch of cooking. I'm gonna cut a lot off this time because I want to get inside those gaps. I don't have to necessarily get in there really good, but I have to get in there enough in there to where it creates some kind of seal. I've seen guys use um, like uh, some foam roll tubing and all that stuff in there where, where you know it's pretty good but still I want to create that tight or somewhat of a tight barrier. You know um, I've seen a bunch of videos guys saying less is more which is really true when it comes to caulking less is more when you're doing um like trim and all that other shit you're doing fine detail work but in this case more is better take the pressure off from your finger you know so that's pretty much a lot i'm gonna do the same thing on this side after I clean my fingers. <laughs> this I have to go nuts a little bit. There you go, done. Doesn't need to be pretty. It does not need to be pretty. Now, one of those strips I took out. Oh, don't forget to put this back in. Clean it off. You know what you're gonna do is push it in. Get shit on my fingers again. No, not too well. Not the tool belt. That's that. Put this one in. Done. Almost. Now I got to do two bottom pieces and then slide the other piece in and then come back with the the, the air pneumatic air and push it back in so yeah. which it'll be pretty easy and simple oh I forgot these fucking nails let me try to preserve this nail this ladder has little tiny holes in it Now you got an extra 
Now we point. Push it nice and tight. Look at that girl. Nice. Get the drill. Got to have some screws. Again, don't tighten it all the way because you're going to crack the wood. A lot of people just don't seem to understand that sometimes less is more. That's it. That's all you got to do. Push it nice and tight towards the window and hold it in place. There you go. More nails. Any more nails. No, we don't need a bunch. Just enough to where you can keep on working. And that, my friend, is how we stay moving forward. God damn it, I'm not a lefty. It's the extra nail. Push it And I am going to be fixing all this trim. I'm going to be sanding pretty much most of it down and re uh, and sealing it. So, you know, it's not that crazy look. I got another little nail there. Find a hole. <laughs> Find a hole. That bead of silicone really is helping out a lot. Because as I'm smushing it in, it took a while to come out. The sun is in my eye. Is pulling it nice and tight. You don't want to ah, go nuts and berserk, man. You crack the wood and all that extra work, you know, you're gonna have to do it to replace it. So, you know, just take your time and do it right. Always just take your time and do it right. That's all it is. Now, this right here, I gotta come with the Rattler, nail, gun. So what I'll do is I'll shove this back in there like so. Bow it a little bit so it can go in. Nope. Oh fucker, I fudged my stiff. All right, what I'll do is I'll take this out again. Since it's not that difficult, I'll take this side out since I'm writing. And it'll be easier. Now, I move this out, it has caulking in there already. Push this in place. Shove this in place, so now this holds up. My phone ran out of memory, so I had to delete more videos. So, everything's in. I had to go through. So now, like I said, Push this trim towards the window as tight as you can. That's it, nice and tight, nice and easy. Take your time. Don't go nuts. You know, you don't have to tighten it all the way because this, this wood is a little crack. And then all your work gone to shit. You gotta have to start all over again. That's it, done. One more. Two already right there. So 
So that's that. Put these pieces back in and the window installation is complete. So roughly, I think this has probably take, took half an hour, you know? So that's what in one of these windows is gonna cost you in time, half an hour. That's it, done. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna check if it opens, it closes, bring this down to where it needs to be. Bring this down, bring this down, bring this up and then lock it. That's it. Window is installed and it's safe. That's it, bada bing, bada boom, done. That's a how to install one of these windows. I'm gonna give you the, the, uh, the brand of this window and the company manufacturer. Hopefully this can help you guys um, when you're doing like remodels and all that stuff and if you're doing it yourself or you working with someone, hey, listen, go to this company. These windows are pretty awesome, pretty easy to install. As you guys saw, it cost you about half an hour worth of labor, you know, um, your, your time. So it took half an hour to get it installed, maybe less if you have two guys working, one guy in front of you, pulling out the windows, and then you're behind them installing the windows. Anyway, as always, thanks for listening, thanks for watching. Any questions, any comments, please leave them. I will be providing this information for you guys for the window. Peace.